welcome to day one of UK Games Expo. Hello. Got the toddlers out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, we were walking like toddlers by the end of it. <laughs> Are you knackered, sci-fi? I, I can't feel my intestines. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, a, I can feel a spine. I can fucking feel my spine. <laughs> <laughs> How was everyone's day one? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I done love it, did it? <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I've had a really good time. Lots to see. Mm. We did not see it at all. No, like no. I don't think we touched Hall 2. What well, we did at the end? We touched it a yeah, little bit, but we need to really do Hall 2 properly tomorrow. Yeah. But there were still parts of Hall 1 we still didn't get a chance to... No, we tried to do like the up and down method, but it still just didn't <clears> work. I think it's because we tried up and down and just like going various bits. Like, let's go to here and then do up and downs. We were magpies. Yes. And we saw shiny things. Shiny. But we got, we've got a... This is day one Hall. Yeah. Um, yeah. don't know if I can get much more than this because I might cripple myself financially. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've done quite well, haven't we, actually? We have, we've really reined ourselves in. So, like, we'd like to point out, like, this was free. free. And if you yeah. got that for free and then went to sell it on the in the Bring and Buy, you're oh, yeah. a bad person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are a I, bad person. I went into the um, Bring and Buy at the end of the day, and my word, there was a lot of dwarfs falling there, including the Playmax and all the expansion stuff that I know people only paid £10 for. Yeah. And they are selling them for a lot more. So yeah, as a big recommend, if it's still out tomorrow, they might have all gone today, but it was free with the coupon book, so goodbye. Yeah. It wasn't even a coupon book, it was just a pro- the... Um, oh, it was in the programme, sorry. It was in the actual programme, it was like one of the last pages. And oh, he, was it? Yeah. You had to rip it out and then just give it to the bloke, oh. and he would give you a copy, or you could then give him that and £10 to get all of the, the extras. That's pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. cool. That's the sound of sci-fi finding it. Yeah. I thought it was me... Actually, starting to feel my abdomen. Abdomen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Abdomen, abdomen. That's the one. Abdomen, abdomen. Uh, we also got no, this epic for free as uh, well, which uh, is quite cool. That, that was with the coupon book. That you one demo was with the it. Book. I, we, it. <laughs> I quite liked it. It was really fun. It took me a minute to get it, and then I got it, and then I really liked it. Yeah. So, give it well. Yeah. Apparently, there's a few different ways to play it as well. Like it, oh. it's the same rules, but like. You can either just have all the same colour, or you can draft, or you can just shuffle the entire lot and deal a deck out to people, stuff like that. That could be fun. Um, but all you need is just that, and that plays enough players. So, it's really cool. That sounds cool. Possibly the game of the expo, maybe it's only day one, we can't really say, but this. Uh, Doomseekers is really fun. I'm not going to say it's the game of the game Really? Of the expo. I really like it. I, I, do, I, I do really like it. it. It's the game that's all, we did a demo of it. And then we fell in love with it, and then Sci-Fi financially crippled himself with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I shouldn't be let, left alone with money, really. Should I? <laughs> no, no, you shouldn't. Uh, I, I was umming and ahhing about thinking, could I show sure up or like it's J one? Show the I was while well, we were demoing it. Not not that I wasn't paying attention, but quite literally, I was talking to somebody on my phone as we were demoing it. So to the guy, I probably looked like the least likely person <laughs> to buy it, and like, right, so where do I get one? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like we've played it twice already, so... Three times. Three times. Three times? We played two demo full games and one um, demo. Oh, well, the demo does it count. Well, yes, it does. The demo the, does count. It's, I think the rules are pretty straightforward. Yeah. I hope they um, whop out a few expansions for it. Mm. Yeah. Um, if you buy it at the con, there is a con exclusive... Oh, Well, well an event exclusive... Um, Character. Character. Slayer. Slayer. That's the word. Yeah. And then there's there is meant to be a second one which unfortunately didn't turn up in time. But mm. if you contact the company, they'll send it out to you. Yeah. And then there's another one floating around which I'm going to try and get hold of. All oh, right. Okay. So there's three additional ones, but um, hopefully they'll give you expansions which will deepen the game and give you more uh, enemies to fight and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's such a simple game and it's core. Yeah. It's, it's easy enough to just go. Here's some more cards. Oh yeah. More yeah. slayers. More enemies. Yeah. Like there's three types of enemies. All Skaven, Greenskins, and Chaos. Yeah. Oh wow. So obviously there's, there's obviously un- undead that undead they can throw in. Uh, oh, yeah. Humans. Elves. <laughs> dead yeah. Dead elves. So yeah. I don't think that thought their slayers would find glorious death against elves though. <laughs> <laughs> Any good advice for you today? Uh well there's 
my uh, Druss, the other member of Bad Karma, has been trying really hard to get hold of this. So I've picked this up so we can try it out. Mm. It's an absolute pain in the ass getting this country. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, new Battletech game. Uh kin. Dover kin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the special edition model for the upcoming Mephidius... Skyrim game or Elder Scrolls game? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yes, I haven't opened it up and I haven't shown you, have I? <laughs> <laughs> People come for the noises. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah, really do. Or come yeah. with the noises. <laughs> <laughs> so, back on track. <laughs> We've just been reported to YouTube. <laughs> okay. Uh, looking forward to anything tomorrow. Did you see anything today that you're sort of like going to go do that tomorrow? I was saying to my friend Chris before we came back to the hotel, I'm like, because I played L5R today, it was the mm. day one of the Koate, and quite literally, I played one game, and I loved it. It was a really fun game. It was really close, and actually, it's the most enjoyable game of L5R I've had in, in a long while. Mm. And then I dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and I got I got, I got, got this playmat, and the promos that I sprayed out. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm doing Keyforge again tomorrow while you guys go around... I feel like I'm going to sit down to Keyforge, play one round, and win or lose. I'm just going to sit there going, I've got enough for t- for the prize wall, so uh, yeah. bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to drop. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Um, I feel a lot more confident with Keyforge than I do with L5R. Yeah, well, because we play Keyforge like, as a group of just like, friendlies, don't we, quite often? Yeah, and Key- Keyforge, there's no thought to it. In like preparation to it, no. Quite literally, here's your deck. You play it. Mm. L five R. You have to sit there, and I had to fill in three separate forms this morning to play L five R, including one giving people the consent in order to use my name. And it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess they have to. Uh, I guess they have to do it these days. What about you, Anthony? You looking forward to anything for tomorrow? Yes, uh, we are hitting uh, Escape the Dark Sector first thing. Yeah. Like, we'll be pushing people out the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to... Women, children, watch yourselves. X is going to give it to you, playing all the way down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> gonna, uh, frog march and step with steel toe caps all the way down. Now. Okay, I think he's going a bit step too far. <laughs> I, I just want to curb stomp people. You just want to impress an entire nation. <laughs> um, <laughs> there, are, there are two things that I am slightly disappointed about. Yeah? Firstly... Parabellum. Second year they've been here with their game. Oh, yeah. And still nothing to sell. Mm. And it, it, they've got a new faction that they're showing off. They've got like a table with a new faction, which look nice. They're lovely models, still lovely models. They stand. But why turn up two years in a row with nothing to sell? Yeah, we asked the that, guy, didn't we? It, they're, they're not getting anything out of it. No. And quite literally, I was willing to give them money, and now I'm like, I just. It's like twentieth of June or something like that. Is it Kickstarter starts or is it? No, they're not doing Kickstarter around the world. It's a general release. Oh right. But, yeah. but not for the expo. No. Not for the expo. Which oh. you thought they would have tried. Apparently, this was meant to be released on the fourteenth of June, but it's here at expo. So. If yeah. they can do it for that, they can do it for other stuff. Yeah. Um, and then in that same breath, there's the. Oh, Super Magic Brawl. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to see it, but uh, you, you guys said that they they just don't have anything there to sell. Yeah, it's going live on Kickstarter mid next month. Well, mid. Yeah, mid next month because we're still in this it's month. The month near, isn't it? Just sort of like the expo is more like, here's our stuff back in on Kickstarter. Like, the, oh. the dark. Let's get the dark, whatever. Let's get the dark sector is live on Kickstarter at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And they have things there to demo, don't they? But, they, but they've got. Three de- oh, I think the five tables they've got for demos, three of them are Escape the Dark Sector. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They literally have it all there for you to play and go, yeah. hey, here it is. But you can't walk away with a physical copy. You can't walk away with a physical copy because cause it's only a small English company that don't yeah. have the funds to do the yeah. print. I do I do think Parabellum but, did actually have a table set up for people to play the game. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. But, and again, you can't walk away with a physical copy. No. It's just They, a, they actually had the, bo- the, the boxes on the table and the sprues out in front and it's like you've got them there yeah. yeah you must have enough I think unless they've only had like an advanced shipment yeah. and like we don't have enough to feasibly 
the um, the yes. other thing as well the at the Games Workshop store, which is very different to what it was <coughs> last year, because last year it was quite literally hi, we're Forge World, yeah, <laughs> and the painting thing. This time it's pretty much they've got the store and then they've got the painting thing in front of the store, which makes a lot more sense. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. But and they've then, got the yeah. contrast. Yeah, they've got the, the contrast paints. Contrast paints, and they've got um. Con, well, not con, um, show exclusive models for sale as well. Oh, really? Yeah, um, they've got the Space Marine Commander, which is a fucking ultramarine. Oh, is that the one you showed me? The f- very fancy looking man? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking ultramarine. He we, looks so lovely, though. We could use that for a combo. Fucking Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> so, I th- uh, And yeah. a massive pile of Funko Pops as well. Oh, yeah, that, they look quite cute. I was just going to like, gonna paint one. You can do. Yeah, you can <laughs> repaint it in your colour. Yeah. Yellow. The, what was it then? Um, they have things that I've never seen before, such as the dice trays, which I never even knew Games Workshop I even did, mm. and the metal objective markers. But God, they were expensive. Yeah. It's got GW on it. It's gonna rack up the price of it. Th- don't think it does have GW on it. Oh my God! <laughs> no. As far as I'm concerned, they were like th- six metal coins, and like I could go up to the, anywhere around here in the. Mm. Could go to the store that literally just only sells metal cards. I haven't seen them this year. They're there. They are there, but they're in one of the. They're either in Hall One at the artist end area. Oh right, yeah. Or they're in Hall Two, which we haven't really explored. No, that's tomorrow's I job. I assume Hall Two. <laughs> like our feelings. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we've, we've got a nice little hall, haven't we? With yeah. The, the yeah. new Keyforge sets out. Hmm. Yeah, we should add a little game off. That was really cool. I picked up four play maps to finish off my Escape the Dark Castle collection. You got the Vampire the Masquerade rule book for really cheap? Yeah. Picked that up in a bring and buy. Just thought, oh, I'd go in last minute, at the end of the day, last entry in. And it was just sat there. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. Uh, if, you, if you haven't got it, I would have. Yeah. These two are my buys. The Madame and Blossoms. Blossoms was something I saw at Essen last year. Fell in love with and saw it today and squealed and went and bought it. Yeah, I was literally I was walking along and then I was like, where, 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 where have you gone? She's just there holding it, gone. I need this, I need this now. I however took a few steps and squealed in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It what what happened? Buying Doom Seekers first, I'm like, oh, this isn't too bad. It's, it's very light, and then it's, it's slowly built, and then after a while, I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Yeah. So heavy. <laughs> We should, all those people walking around like little trolleys. Yeah. It's like, what? we need one of them. We'll get a trolley next year. Yeah. <laughs> that or just a, like a buggy. I was going to say mobil- buggy, mobility then. skewers. <laughs> I was going to say, just get a buggy and put like a doll baby in. And just, there you go. Just dress it up. You could have got that book then, couldn't you? I could have. Yeah, um, <laughs> the Warhammer Adventures. You they can't. Ha- yeah, you cannot have this unless you have you have a child with you. Does it say that, really? Well, that's what Anne, Anne told me. <laughs> it says on the... Um, the coupon. Like, in the thing, that it's for children redemption. So when children go over... Children can't have redemption. Well, They're that, sinners. <laughs> well, apparently they can in 40k. <laughs> no, that's just fine. Who knew? But they also had... Um, from what I could tell looking at the tables, they had like a little folder which you could go in which had colouring sections. So you could colour in like Necrons and Space Marines and Jesus. I'm like, why are you giving a child a colouring book of like 40k? Because it's amazing. I can imagine that. Like, open it up and like, Daddy, why is this gene stealer here <laughs> for you to colour? <laughs> what, with the blood of my enemies? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's, been, it's been a very good day it I has we've had a very good day but now we go to bed and Deto and Deto where we just I just want I just want to say one thing as well um, if you're in a tournament shaking hands and, and, and being <laughs> polite and everything is really really cool and everything but if you see somebody with that on their hand do not squeeze <laughs> yeah that's not good <laughs> fuck yeah. you know I get I think the guy, the guy, like on the next to it, like I think he heard me go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and he he just looked at me and he's like, uh, I think he was like, I want to say something. It's like, are you okay? But that noise, <laughs> <laughs> the noise just tickled him deep inside. <laughs> what with fear? <laughs> <laughs> but 
but yeah, no, apart from that, yeah. none of you need to change that now. So yeah. Yeah. Happy to uh, sign off. Sign off and then we'll do it, put day two stuff on or do we build up more and more around? Yeah, you have to sleep on top of that now. Yeah. Oh, man. That's all right, it's not my side. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next pyramid. Ma.